Welcome back guys to another episode. Can you please shut up? Bro, oh I taught my computer how to speak with I'm saying. Bro, can you please stop? I need to give my intro. No. You are a terrible person. You humans don't have a brain. Okay, so this was basically nothing. This it was just a joke. Uh, I didn't taught my computer how to speak. I use JavaScript to use speech synthesis, which allows the browser to talk. Basically, it's a text-to-speech thing. So, in this video, we are going to see that. And uh, sorry for that intro thing that was also made by me. As you see the screen, you can just see the code. Okay, so we are in VS Code. So let's make a file named index.html real quick. So here we go, and in this, let's make an HTML file template. Yeah, that's so easy like just type html and it just enter and it just makes the template for you so for the basic one we will just make a button so button on click and we want it to speak something so we will just name it speak and uh, i will just title speak so yeah and now for this button to work for this button to work you need to do some javascript so here we go we will just do it here we will not make a separate file for this so yeah here we go we will make a function name speak uh, and here you just need to make a new speech synthesis utterance object so here we go uh, message is equal to new speech synthesis utterance and here you can just put the text what you want to speak through the browser so i'll just type hello world for this here we go and uh, now i just need to do window sorry window dot speech synthesis and dot speak and we need to pass the message object so let's go through it once again what we are doing here we are making a speak function and in the speak function we are just making an object and just passing a constructor of a text which is going to be speak spoke by the browser sorry we have a bad english and this line here will just trigger the action and the browser will speak whatever you just typed here so let's go to chrome real quick and just check how does it work okay so we are in chrome so let's press the speak button hello world so it speaks hello world and if you go ahead and change your text as if you want like i'll just type my name it would not say my name perfectly but it, it would just speak it as if it knew it so i just changed in the background Hi, Atherba. so this just spoke my name and this is good now what we will do we'll just make a text box here and whatever the user types and then press speak the browser will just speak the exact same thing so let's go ahead and do that so here we don't need to make some major changes you just need to make a text box right so here we go and uh let me change the spacing because pretty i'll just change the spacing to two so i'll just make it two and uh, now i'll make an input box so input type text with id of maybe message and uh, i'll just end it here and give a br so that it goes a little the button just appears below the text box not besides it Oh, you know what? Let's just make it look besides. It's, there's no problem. I'll just do an and and BSP to give some spacing. So here we go. Now what we need to do is just grab the value here. So we will do it document. Oh, sorry. Dot get element element by ID, and I need to get message dot value. So whatever in the uh text box will be just spoken by the browser so it will just come here and it will be spoken by the browser so i'll just save it let's get back to chrome and uh, let's just type something here so like uh welcome to my video oh here we go now I'll just do speak so something is wrong here let me check the inspector ok 
cannot read value of undefined okay so let's go there and check it once more so here there must be something wrong like document dot get element by id dot value and id is message there must be something wrong like this cannot just happen like that okay so here we are we misspelled message so here we go we will just fix it let's get back to chrome and let's just try that thing again my video and let's speak it welcome to my video yeah like you can just do anything hello youtube maybe and let's uh, hello youtube i am an intelligent robot i am an intelligent robo so that's how you work with this and it's so easy yeah, like you you saw how you did that and the good thing is that you, you can just play around with the settings like uh, this is not the only voice it can speak you can just always play around with it and there is a huge documentation written by google just on this topic so you can just see that and yeah so let's try to play around with the voice now so let's get back to vs code okay so here we need to get the voices so first of all we need to change this voice so in this case i'll just change this voice to a lady voice so whatever we just type will be spoke by lady so to do that first we need to get all the voices which is in the, in the browser so let's go ahead and just make a variable so voices is equal to win for to get the voices we will just window dot speed synthesis dot get voices and this is a function which returns an array so for mm -hmm. this message to speak using the specific voice we would just do message dot voice equal to voices so voices and since this is an array and we could just provide this bracket and the number of our lady speaking this is a three so we'll just put three and i'll just save this and let's get back to chrome and here let's just type hi youtube now speak hi youtube oh something is wrong something is wrong hi youtube yeah so maybe the last time maybe sometimes the live server makes a problem for you and i am using the live server extension from vs code so obviously you know it it's, it always gives some some other other problems so just to make sure let's type a few more so let's just try i'm just confused welcome to my channel welcome to my channel yeah so the lady is speaking yeah the lady is speaking so if we go and speak yeah the lady is speaking sure so the voice has changed i don't know what what, what just happened maybe it was the problem of the live server who knows and that's it for this video guys like uh, this is a good thing like you can just play around with it you can just implement this in your site or you can just do anything with it this is awesome so so i'll see you in the next video and please subscribe to the video if you like the content and find it useful and this is of course my first webcam video so sorry i'm using my phone right here just don't mind